Hey guys, Abs here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can find businesses, potential clients and potential prospects for our services and for our products. And I'm going to be showing you how we can do this by performing searches on the internet. And we're not going to be using Google, Yahoo and Bing, which are the commonly used search engines, because they don't provide us with the kind of flexibility that I'm going to be um, sharing with you today. Instead, we're going to be using a new site that I've recently come across myself called publicwww.com and this is actually a search engine for source code and I'm going to be showing you exactly why it's super cool and why it's going to come into our advantage in a few moments. So the first thing I want to make some notes about the website. So it's actually a paid for site but you do have a free version as well and I'm actually using the free version myself and you're going to be able to see the kind of restrictions and limitations we get with the free version but you do have paid for versions as well and you know what I'm actually thinking of upgrading and you'll see why in a moment. Okay, the next thing that I want to bring to your attention, guys, is um, it's not going to be as big as Google, Yahoo and Bing. They are very limited, um, but they do still have millions and millions of websites in their database and they frequently update the database as well. So it's not been updated for about a week now. Um, it's the 20th of May today. Um, however, um, as you can see, it was updated on, the, on May the 13th. Okay, so let's see exactly what you can do with this site. So it tells you that you can find and you can search for any HTML, JavaScript, CSS, SS and plain text in a web page or the source code. Okay, you you can and then it gives you some examples down here as well. So for example, you can search for the Google Analytics um, so you can find all of the sites that are using exactly the same Google Analytics. So let's just say, for example, there's a business, a SEO provider or a web client that actually installs their own or adds their own um, publisher ID inside of the actual website, then you're going to be in a position to find down and track down all of that person's clients. OK, now, so anyway, you can get really, really tricky and really, really sneaky when you're searching with HTML. And I want to be showing you some hints and tips um, on what you can take away from this as well. OK, so anyway, you can find and you can search for um, platforms, e-commerce platforms, um, CMS platforms like WordPress, Joomla and whatnot. You, you can search for advertiser networks. And you know what? You can even search for the same AdSense um, publisher ID. So if you knew someone that was very big with AdSense and you knew what their publisher ID was, then you can enter it in here and reveal all of the other sites that are actually sending them um, good money and good revenue um, for or how they're actually making their AdSense revenue. OK, you can search for all sites that have exactly the same theme and so much more as well. And I'm going to actually take you through some of these in a moment. But towards the bottom, guys, I just want to bring something else to your attention. Um, you also have popular searches. So you've got things like AdSense publishers. You've got things like Apache, PHP searches on here. You've got engines so such as WordPress, Drupal, Recapture, um, vBulletin. You've got frameworks such as Bootstrap. Um, Cloudflare, Prototype, you've got counters such as Google Analytics, StatCounter, Quantcast and all sorts as well. So let's explore some of these and then we'll have a look and see how we can build and do our own ones ourselves as well. OK, so I'm going over to um, the AdSense popular searches down here. And from here, what you can see is when you uh, you can actually see up and down here, all of these are publisher IDs and these are um, the AdSense, the top AdSense publishers. So these are probably the ones that have been searched for the most on public www.com. So when I click on these guys, then you can actually see how many websites um, are using this publisher ID. Um, so you can see 1,799. So this person here is using this ID on 1,799 websites. So they're probably pretty massive on AdSense and they're probably making quite a bit of cash. Um, and going up and down here, guys, you can reveal and see all of the URLs, but you can't see them all. What we can actually do is we can download these to a CSV file. So let me download these and show you exactly how much we get to see. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here. Let me just keep scrolling. So as you can see, we're coming up to a 300 mark here, 400 mark. Okay, there you go. Okay, so 486 websites were revealed that are using this same publisher ID on the free account. This is guys. Um, and when you're coming up and down here, um, you can actually get a good idea of exactly what kind of sites this guy's got. Um, so I mean, if you have a look down here, we've got one here, Cycle Forums. You've got Kite Crowd. You've got Kawasaki Forum. You've got Vault Forums. You've got car audio classifieds, two wheel forum, um, marriage counseling blog. Um, so I mean, looking up and down here, you've got so many forums I can see. So I mean, you know, you might be able to find some really nicely 
um, tightly um, put together communities and niches that you can target for yourself as well. Um, so this is really, really cool. Um, and you can do this for all of these um, other publisher IDs down here, or you can come along and add your own publisher IDs in here. So I mean, as you can see, this has only got 14 websites and this time it's only revealed one and it's hiding all of the other ones and it's saying that I need to upgrade to discover it all. Um, but what you can do if you want to get nosy yourself and you know somebody that's already got, um, is big on AdSense, like I said, is just add their own publisher ID here to reveal all of the other websites that are actually making their money or that they've got their um, advertised or sorry that they've got their publisher ID on um, and of course you know just by these itself here guys you know you can come up and down here especially for the ones that are being revealed and you can have a look to see exactly you can find new keyword ideas new niche ideas as well um, you know it's really really cool okay so let me just show you some more searches on here as well guys um, so let me just give you an idea about WordPress for example and show you exactly how cool you can get with WordPress um, so with WordPress you can actually search for based on WordPress versions you could search based on WordPress I don't know that are using so many different types of things like I said it's all down to your source code so let's just say for example you picked up um, you done a search for WordPress 3.6.1 and you knew that this WordPress version had vulnerabilities in there what you could do now is you could be in a position to find all all of these websites here now some of these searches you can perform on Google guys and some of them you can't perform on Google um, but as you can see this searches all of the um, all of the source code so the idea is that you need to go in to the actual source code um, and then you need to find out a really cool search that you can narrow down the version um, so anyway um, you could probably get in contact with all of these and say to them, well you know what the version the WordPress version that you're using is very easy to exploit um, and we've got a solution for you and this is our solution and then you could propose them um, your own um, proposal okay um, another idea is guys um, is obviously I want to bring you over to my own idea now um, and just share some of my own ideas with you as well um, so one of the ideas was um, I was actually performing some searches on Google so as you can see I've done some searches on WordPress now you don't need to perform searches um, on Google to actually perform a search on WordPress to find out all of these active installs because WordPress allows you to sort these through the popular um, plugin directory anyway but anyway, I like doing my I like doing footprint searches because I don't only you know because I, I use many more sites than just just WordPress. But I just wanted to give you this I wanted to give you this as an example. So anyway, with this I came across this WordPress plugin here, OnePress Social Locker. As you can see, this has been installed over ten thousand times. Now let's just say, for example, I had a Social Locker plugin myself, okay, and I wanted to start marketing um, and I didn't know exactly where to market. So a good place to start marketing would be with my competitors. So if I knew that my plugin was 10 times better than this, or even if it was slightly better than this and it provided a few more features or whatever, um, then I could be in a position, um, if I could find out who's installing this plugin on their website, I could be in a position and say, well, you know what? I've got a plugin. It's 10 times better than this. It's three times cheaper than this. And you know what? We're going to give you it free of charge for two of your blogs or I don't know, whatever you know proposal you want to do. And you could get in contact with them and really close the deals. So I'm going to show you how you can actually find this. Um, so so just to give you some ideas on how you can perform searches yourself. So anyway, so I'm on here, one press social locker. I'm gonna click on try live, try live demo. And the idea is, is to find a footprint for this plugin. Okay, so as I, this is a really easy example. That's why I'm showing you this. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna click on inspect element. Now what this does, as you can see, is automatically highlighting that box. And it's telling me that it's a, the, the class here is ONP hyphen SL. What I can do now is I can actually right click and view the page source. I can press control F and I can do ONP. And as you can see, it takes me to the first div, which is called ONP hyphen locker hyphen call. Okay, what I can do now is I can actually go over to this search engine here and I can type this inside of here. Okay, and I can wrap it in quotes. And as you can see, guys, it's already showing me 636 websites. Okay, and the other one, um, oh, okay, yeah, uh, it's already showing me 636 websites. I can download all these websites and then I can be in a position to get in contact with these websites and make them aware of my plugin, which is probably more secure, which is more easier to work, which is more easier to work with. It provides you more designs um, and it does so much more as well. And you know what? You can actually go ahead and look at these sites as well. I mean, look at this one here. You've got the bestspinner.co. So anyway, this is using um, the 
social locker plugin as well now there's a number of exploits with a number of these plugins as well something that we're not going to be discussing today um, but anyway I'm, I'm just trying to give you an idea of exactly how you can use this um, to find um, based on um, you know based on footprints now let me just give you one more other idea as well so I actually use a service called countdown monkey I think it cost me about seven bucks a month or something um, and it's for countdowns um, and I know there's lots of people who use this as well um, so what we could do is let's say for example we provided a service now or we built our own countdown service which provided more countdown styles which was easier to use and it was cheaper as well and I wanted to be in a position now to get in contact with people that are interested in countdown timers so I could actually come along here and I could put down the countdown timer um, query inside of here and perform a search and then this is actually going to come back and tell me all of the websites so as you can see this is actually showing 224 we could wrap this in quotes as telling us to get um, fewer websites or more websites will be more precise or whatever um, okay 242 so as you can see these are all websites and you can see from here as well these are all websites that are using countdown monkey on their website and countdown monkey is a paid for service it's a monthly paid for service um and you know what there's there's so many footprints that you can make guys and this opens up the doors for you to really narrow down and find out you know users or companies that are using certain services um that you provide a better service for or you might provide marketing for a different company and you can start using this in your marketing methods as well so it's really cool guys it's really straightforward like I said it's, it's free to use as well um, so come along use it um, it's a great way to start performing new searches um, and you know what you could perform searches for all sorts of things so I mean even if you're looking for links and I know you can perform searches um, on Google but even if you're looking for link lists and based on platforms, then you can use this for that as well. Now, the database isn't as huge as Google, nowhere near as huge as Google, um, but it does constantly get updated um, and it is a great way to start working with this. Um, now, another thing um, I wanted to make notes of as well, guys, is that if you're already performing these kind of HTML, CSS, JavaScript searches, um, then please share your ideas with ourselves. We can all learn from each other um, and it'd be really great to know what other methods you guys are using to perform to perform these kind of searches so anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you can take something away from this as well um, and yeah thank you very much